welcome to this lecture. Today, we are going to deal with these topics little quickly but in detailed approach. My name is Gunjan Subedi and as always, I will be guiding you in this topic with practical explanation and examples when necessary. Before starting, let me kindly remind you to subscribe to My Lean University, which is my initiative to deliver free and quality professional education to your screen. Just-in-time production is a manufacturing strategy that aims to reduce waste and increase efficiency by only producing and delivering products as they are needed. This means that rather than producing large quantity of products in advance and storing them in inventory, just-in-time production focuses on producing products on demand as close to the point of sales or use as possible. For example, a car manufacturer using JIT production might receive an order for a specific model of car and immediately begin production rather than producing a large number of cars in advance and storing them in a warehouse. This reduces the need for storage space and allows the manufacturer to save money on inventory costs. One way to visualize the process of JIT production is through this table. Here is a comparison of traditional manufacturing and batch production or batch production versus JIT or just-in-time production. In traditional manufacturing or batch production process, large quantities of products are produced in advance, but in just-in-time production, products are produced on demand as they are needed. In traditional manufacturing, products are stored in inventory until they are sold, whereas in just-in-time, no inventory is needed as products are produced and delivered as they are needed. The traditional manufacturing system has high inventory cost due to storage and maintenance, but just-in-time has low inventory cost as no inventory is needed. In traditional manufacturing, there is long lead times as production is done in batches. Whereas in just-in-time, the lead time for production is short as production is done on demand. The traditional manufacturing has higher risk of product obsolescence or damage, whereas just-in-time production has lower risk of product obsolescence or damage as products are produced and delivered fresh. So what are the steps of just-in-time? Let's walk in through the second part of the video. The first step is to identify the production process and inventory needs. For example, a company that manufactures shoes need to determine how many materials such as leather and rubber are needed and how many finished products or shoes they will need in order to meet the customer demand. Step 2 is to create a production schedule. The production schedule should be based on customer's order and should be efficient as possible, minimizing waste and maximizing productivity. For example, the shoe company may create a schedule that specifies how many pairs of shoes will be produced each day, week, or in each month? The step number three is to source materials and supplies just in time. Instead of holding large inventories of materials and supplies, the company should only order the materials and supplies needed for immediate production schedule. For example, the shoe company may order the leather and rubber needed for the next week's production schedule rather than purchasing a large amount of material that may not be used for several months. In step number four, we have to monitor production and adjust as needed. The production process should be continuously monitored to ensure that it is running smoothly and efficiently. If there are any issues or bottlenecks, they should be addressed as soon as possible. For example, if a shoe company experiences a delay in receiving the leather needed for production, they may need to adjust the production schedule and reschedule orders for finished products. In step number five, we have to manage the inventory levels. Inventory levels should be carefully managed to ensure that there is enough material and finished product on hand to meet the customer demand, but not so much that it results in waste or inefficiency. For example, the shoe company may use a just-in-time inventory system that only orders and produces the exact number of shoes needed for each customer order. Finally, in step number six, we ensure that the final product meets customer's requirement and is delivered to the customer on time. Before ending this lecture, let me remind you to join my Lean University's premium membership and enjoy a total free access for a limited time inside my Lean University's online library and get tons of free courses, free books 
and lecture topics on project management, Lean and Six Sigma, operations and supply chain, productive and preventive maintenance, quality maintenance, data science, industry and sales management, Agile and Scrum, Kaizen or continuous improvement, and much more totally free. No strings attached. As we have limited seats, only the early subscribers will be given open access inside the premium membership. And remember, it's totally free. Please subscribe and share the video if you share the common belief that professional education should be accessible to all.